our episode, which is James versus Burgers. We're going to hopefully get James really, really steaming. That's the plan for this episode, so we've already decided the theme for the episode is get James drunk. It won't take much. <laughs> wines from three kind of wine shops in Glasgow that we really like. We have this um, Cornerstone, it's a Bordeaux blend but it's from South Africa. Um, we've actually had this wine before and really enjoyed it so we want to see how it kind of pairs with the different burgers. We've got a Montepulciano, which is an Italian wine. Uh, that's from Marchstown, really excited to try that. And then we've got the Prados which is a mix of Granacha or Grenache and Syrah and that's a, a Spanish, I don't know where in Spain but it's Spanish. Oh and we're here in bread meets bread. So the first thing to think about when it's a burger is that it's that it's red meat. So basically most red wine is going to go with, apart from if it's shite red wine, um, is going to go with that. So you've got to think about your toppings. So we've started with a nice standard burger. Do you want to Describe oh, the yes, burger, James. Sure. Burger. <laughs> uh, this is the Cali burger, um, if you can see this. It's a uh, sort of bread meat spreads own take on In and Out burgers, a uh, classic um, animal style burger that they do in the States. Um, so it's mustard fried beef mm. uh, with American cheese, uh, lettuce, tomato, relish, mayo, just all the kind of classic burger toppings. Uh, so we kind of thought this should be a good one to start off with. Classic. And, uh, sorry. The best burger they do here in Smithing. Oh. oh, okay. So we're starting at the top. So I saw them do the mustard frying part. We actually painted a little smiley face with the mustard for our benefit. So that may or may not make the edit depending it's, it's on the It's a little simple. <laughs> it's in focus. James. Um, yes. How how did you start with the burgers? How did I start with the burgers? Um you know, I think I've told this story like so many times now. I feel like I'm, bit. I feel like I'm almost reciting it. But uh, it was kind of started off with just a conversation between uh, myself and my now wife, uh, and we we do a lot of travelling. We've got family who live in the states, so whenever we go travelling, we always look up where does the best burger in whatever city that we're going to go to. So one night we were just sitting at home and we were hungry. Mm -hmm. And yeah, doing uh, a great job. We were, Great we, were, we were sitting at home, we were hungry, and we, we just wondered where does the best burger in Glasgow? So we looked up on Google and there was just no search results whatsoever. So in all these other cities you would have like hundreds and hundreds of pages. Here's a list of the top ten burgers here, there, everywhere. But in Glasgow there was just there was just nothing and it just seemed like no one was talking about it. So we just kind of thought we should talk about it. What, what wine are we going to pair this with? Well, why don't we pair this with the Cornerstone? This one we got from the Good Spirits, and the first time we got it was we went in and we said to Jane, give us... We just, just wanted something delicious. Sorry, keep interrupting. That's okay. <laughs> it's standard now. You know? <laughs> We've given it for gifts. It's went down really well. It's a Bordeaux blend, but it's from South Africa, so it's like, it doesn't really taste like a French roll. No, but it's... Very ethically farmed as well, and very ethically produced. Um, just meaning that they, they treat their employees quite well. Um, <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. Try your best not to. <laughs> it's really good. Are you going to say it's shite, James? Is that what you're going to say here? I was going to say it's a really, it's got a really full flavour. So this burger is quite, it's quite bold, um, and I think the fact that it's mustard fried is quite a kind of intense flavour. So. Mm. I think, you know, obviously you guys are the experts, but I think that this... Right, we're very experts. This it should go well. Work. It might work. Mm. That is so delicious. That's really nice. Heather, look what I made. A little, like, mm. napkin plate. You were smart. Mm. I was not smart. Mm. That is really good. That's a delicious burger. We are starving. It's now 4pm. 
You haven't had lunch? I also did not eat lunch, which kind of worries me for the amount of wine that is here. Mm, it'll be entertaining. When there's food around, I feel quite rushed because I want it all in my mouth. And I have to remember that nobody's going to steal our other burgers. It's all going to be okay. Yeah. Yeah. This ends up pretty well. Oh. Mm. Burgers are the perfect wine foods. And um, because they're kind of salty and juicy and meaty, perfect food for a red wine. When you're thinking about like pairing your your burger at home, perhaps, or in here, um, the thing that you have to think about with the toppings is what's the last taste that's left in your mouth. So, like just now, like the last taste I have is the cheese. Yeah. So you have to kind of match that as well as. To think of the strength and the weight of the wine. Mm. So, a kind of heavy meal. I know we've talked about it before, but chances are everybody's forgotten. But like a kind of full flavour needs a full wine. You have to down this now, James, because we can't move on until we have finished it. I feel so. <laughs> it kind of smells like like a like a brand new leather jacket. No, that's essentially wanky, but that's kind of... No, wine is all about being totally, wanky. That's totally yeah, what, what you're with to the do wankers. is you're with yeah, the exactly. decanter wankers. You need. What is the best burger you've ever had? Uh, well, since we're in Bedmeat's Bread, of course, <laughs> the best burger that I've had is the one that we just ate, the Cali burger. Really? Um, my, my two favourite burgers in all of Glasgow are Cali burger from Bedmeat's Bread, or the Top Dog Burger from El Perro Negro. Mm. Um, James actually took us to El Perro Negro and it was, it was life changing. It really was. Because we had had... But I'm, I'm looking at the juices coming from this one here and I'm like, my mon dieu. I think my favourite thing about the El Perro Negro trip was how I got there and you guys had devoured about a dozen chicken wings already. <laughs> it, was, it was really impressive. Well, this is where we like five minutes late. Was, so yeah. This has happened twice where James has come to meet us um, and we've already started eating, started eating when, he, when he's arrived. The Kelvinator. Uh, so this burger has uh, quite a kick to it. There's some pulled pork on there uh, and there's some spicy barbecue meal. Uh, and lots of uh, really melty, gooey uh, scamorza cheese, mm. which really bread meat spreads the only place I've really seen in Glasgow that uses this cheese on the burger. But it's really creamy, um, and it really goes well with like sort of spicy relishes and meals and things. They just mm. kind of balance each other out really well. No, this one's good actually. I can't wait to try this one. Mm. And the wine that we have, this one was from um, Curious Liquids, which we stopped in. And basically, when you, if you Pair burgers with a Grenache or a Shiraz or a Syrah, you're not going to go that wrong because they're big, juicy, giant flavours. Mm -hmm. So it should match up to the hit of the... Hopefully. Oh, thank you. It's lovely. It's got really deep cherries in the back. There well we done, Louise. I know, look at that. That was so delicate. Cheese. Mm. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, <laughs> oh no, you're still getting it. I kind of feel like you don't lose. The burger's like a really, there's a lot of flavours going on. It's really kind of, um, you kind of get the barbecuiness of the pulled pork mm. and then it's kind of smoky mm. at the end, but it doesn't kind of overpower the, the cherry taste. This isn't my favourite wine. It's nice, but it goes really well with this it's burger. It's really well with the burger. Yeah. Can have that back later. We're not we're just stealing leaving. it from you, but we're going to try the blue cheese and black pudding burger. Blue cheese, black pudding, and bacon. You have to do that first, though. Okay. The wine that we picked for this is the Montepulciano, um, and we actually all we did was we went into Marchtown, which is a great um, wine shop and wine bar in Glasgow, and we said just give us something for blue cheese. And um, Anthony, who works there, gave us this. He keeps saying, like, oh, I've got this in my house, like a cinema and things, and he's not invited us. We haven't been invited yet. Actually, what I would say about Anthony is um, his tastings are excellent. Um, They're so much fun. I've not been to Marchtown yet, so if you want, I could go and I could tell Anthony to be your friend. He'll definitely think that we're, um, we're a bit fucking bit too easy. Because <laughs> what we did is we harassed James enough to be our friend. And, uh, <laughs> but he was, I mean, he only took like maybe 137 selfies that we'd send to him daily. 
Can you imagine if we had done it? What do you think of that wing, guys? Mm. I like that. I, there's been nothing I've really not liked. Okay, this is such a winner for me. Oh, holy shit. It's the best. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's so mm. <laughs> oh. I could snort this burger. That's a taste sensation. And how's it go? Well, no, it actually does like Maybe highlight it's... the fruit. You just lose a little bit of the character, but um, no, that that goes yeah. well. We have three little pieces of burger left. <laughs> Which one do you want? Oh, I said earlier that the Cali burger was my favourite burger here. Um, but this has kind of made me, made me possibly have to reassess that. Mm. Question your life. Life choices. Yeah. Because <laughs> the pulled pork burger was mm. my favourite one of the, really? of the day. Yeah. I think this one was my favourite one of the day. There you go then. Mm. You have to down that, James. Yeah, you have to down that. Okay. And I'm never going to complain about having to download. <laughs> I give this wine a 9.2. Um, and probably a 9.2 on the pairing as well. It works really well with the burger. I give this wine like an 8, but a 9 for the... 9.2 for the pairing. It's like really nice pairing. And I give this one a 9.2, but an 8 for the pairing. So that's, I love, I drink that on its own, but with the burger it's not quite as, I don't congratu congratulate myself on the pairing. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to um, agree with all of your scorings. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I mean, James? Yeah, I kind of agree. This, I, I really love this wine, the taste before the burger. With the burger it wasn't, it wasn't quite so good. Mm. Um, I think this is like a bitch of a burger. Sorry, I have burger all over myself. That's fine. I think the black pudding one would have went well with that. Try it. Just, just out the bottle. And I think this wine would have went really well if there had been more blue cheese on the burger. Yeah. There wasn't enough blue cheese. More blue cheese. Like more like always more blue cheese. I'm at Every a point day. now where I think we should just go to the cheese shop and <laughs> buy blue cheese. <laughs> I don't know which one of you guys suggested this burger, but well done. Let's just see it with you. It was me! James, will you come on again one time? Yes, of course. We haven't quite got you drunk enough that you're going to spew on your shoes, but if okay. that happens, well. we will put the cameras back on.